It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Tuesday, the 30th of August. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather looking pretty dry for a while, but the tropics are very active. So let's dive in there and see if we can answer your questions. We'll start with the upper air look across the country. This is the weather where the pressure is 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. Upper high a little north of us at 592 ring. So underneath the upper high, we have winds aloft blowing from east to west. So any showers that form today will move in that direction, backwards from the typical cool season direction. And that's the radar at 158, as we expected hardly anything out today. Just a few isolated showers roughly along U.S. 80, Opelika to Montgomery to Selma to Demopolis. And again, those showers are moving to the west. They will be very small, and they will dissipate once the sun goes down later this evening. Temperatures are around 90 in most spots at mid-afternoon. We'll probably wind up with a high in the low 90s in most locations today, and we'll probably stay there for a while. There's the watch warning map. Things relatively quiet. we got flash flood watches down in South Florida in advance of TD9. Also flash flood watches for parts of West Texas, up into Kansas, around Omaha, Nebraska. Marginal risk of severe weather way up north, much of the country with a chance of scattered storms, but... Organized severe weather not expected. Tomorrow, a marginal risk on the Florida West Coast. Places like Tampa, St. Petersburg, as the tropical system approaches. And on day three, which is Thursday, a marginal risk for parts of North Florida, including uh, places like Jacksonville and Cross City, Perry, Florida. Uh, and again, that's with the uh, tropical system coming through. And of course, the big issue is going to be the rain. Uh, whopper rain totals possible over parts of Florida. And again, mainly the peninsula, not the panhandle. It's going to be a very sharp gradient around Panama City Beach. Uh, we think Panama City will be influenced with wind and rain on Thursday. But the really worst of the weather will be to the east of there. And you can see for Alabama, just nothing for the northern half of the state. This is valid through Sunday morning. So a very dry pattern setting up here. And the chance of rain, not exactly zero uh, tomorrow and Thursday. But after that, things do look pretty dry for the Labor Day weekend. It's a tropical smorgasbord. Tropical depressions 8 and 9. Get a funny feeling TD9 might be tropical storm Hermine by the time you watch this. We have Hurricane Gaston in the Atlantic moving out to sea and that wave coming off the coast of Africa. Uh, that wave is going to be moving steadily to the west across the open Atlantic. There's a chance it could develop in coming days. Look at the models on this and you can see the BAM set wants to move it north of the Caribbean, north of Puerto Rico, north of Hispaniola. And if indeed that's the case, will it recurve or maybe threaten the east coast of the United States? Nobody knows at this point intensity guidance on that by the way that wave out there is 92 l steady uh, increase in intensity expected maybe reaching uh, category one hurricane status in about four or five days it gets a long way out there and just something to watch gaston looking pretty good top winds 105 miles per hour based on satellite estimates in the middle of the atlantic and again that's far from land it will be uh, weakening as it moves over the Azores over the Labor Day weekend, but certainly no threat to the United States. Tropical depression number eight, very disorganized off the coast of North Carolina, off the Outer Banks. That's kind of kissing the Outer Banks. That'll be moving out to sea in coming days. That'll be long gone by the Labor Day weekend. Got a Labor Day trip planned for the Outer Banks. Weather should be just fine. Of course, the one closest to home is this one. This is tropical depression number nine. And again, based on the increase in convection and the shear that seems to be weakening, this could very well be tropical storm Hermine by the time you watch this. Here's the uh, track from the National Hurricane Center. No major changes. They've got this thing coming up through Appalachie Bay, the Big Bend region of Florida. Uh, down below Tallahassee, and then back out into the Atlantic. And again, we stress, this will be long gone by Labor Day. If you got a trip down to the Gulf Coast, or even Tampa Bay, Clearwater, uh, you know, Daytona Beach, it'll be fine by then. 
thought we'd check the European. Uh, it has shifted a little to the <clears throat> left on the 12Z run. The, the GFS has as well. This is Thursday evening at 7 o'clock, and it's got it coming in a little uh, east of Apalachicola. Still, that leaves Panama City on the dry side, but it's close enough to bring some, uh, obviously, some wind and rain to Panama City. But that's the one day is Thursday when that's going to be an issue. And understand rough surf and riptides, that'll be a problem all the way over to Dolphin Island uh, with this thing tomorrow and Thursday. But again, we stress this will be long gone by the weekend and the surf will settle down by then. Here's the intensity guidance on TD9. Almost all the models, all of them do, bring it up to a tropical storm. Got a few outliers bring it up to a hurricane. I'd say that's pretty unlikely. Uh, we thought we'd check the new uh, surge graphics, potential storm surge flooding. And remember that the surge is going to be along and to the right of the landfall center. And uh, that's going to be in areas north of Clearwater in areas east of Apalachicola. And again, that's around that Florida Big Bend region. Uh, where there could be some uh, storm surge flooding there. This is the expected rain through 72 hours as a direct result of TD9. And you can see potential there for uh, five, maybe 10 inches on the high end for parts of Florida. But all of that, all of that well to the south and east of uh, Alabama. So what about Alabama, you ask? Well, let's get near and take a look at the uh, GFS. This is the 12Z run valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock. You can see we've got a pretty high amplitude pattern up in the westerlies. And again, a trough kind of digs down toward the eastern Great Lakes. At the surface, uh, the weather here is not going to change much. Mostly sunny, hot, uh, kind of muggy, highs low to mid-90s. And the tropical system is way south of Gulf Shores. Thursday, the system moving northeast, and again, this should be a tropical storm, probably Hermine, coming up toward Apalachicola, Alabama, mostly dry, and this is the one day where Panama City could see some wind and rain. Uh, from Destin on west, not so sure they see any rain from this. They'll be on the dry side of this, and then Thursday night, this is 1 a.m. Friday, the system comes in east of Apalachicola, and then during the day Friday, it's over around Savannah, Georgia. And again, for us, the, the chance of rain is just tiny. And what this thing is going to do, it's going to pull down some drier air. Uh, so that will make for a fairly decent holiday weekend coming up. This is Saturday. Uh, Hermine, which I, I think it will be Hermine. It's on the way out. And for us, the day should be mostly sunny. And again, the, the numbers come down a bit. The humidity comes down a bit, so a little more comfortable. Uh, the latest guidance still showing highs in the upper 80s here on Saturday and lows down in the 60s. Not a cool snap, but hey, it's better than what we've been having. Same thing on Sunday, very dry air. Sunday morning will be well down in the 60s. The high will be in the upper 80s. And Labor Day, same deal, mostly sunny. I'd say the high 87 to 90. Here's a week from today, Tuesday, September 7th. Look at that 597 upper high building on top of us. It's like the summer just doesn't want to let go. And if that's right, kind of hot, kind of dry. This is the end of the forecast period. This is Friday, the 9th of September, Friday of next week. Pretty good trough coming down and across the northern plains. Uh, we'll watch that cold front north and west of us. And uh, what probably is the wave coming off the coast of Africa now, that shows up east of the Bahamas. So the GFS and the tropical models are suggesting that will not be a Gulf of Mexico system. But we don't know that yet. It's just... Way too early in the game. That's the early look. Check the numbers. You can see Friday, the high dropping to 88 here on the ensemble. Low down to 66 on Saturday morning. Then it's got low 90s for the holiday weekend. And we kind of stay in the 90s on through mid-September. We'll get that first good cool snap in here, but we have to have patience. We are down here in the deep south. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.